Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to tell you the story of how I got started into Magic the Gathering. So sit down because this is going to be a long video. As I have mentioned in the previous video, I used to play Pokemon trading card game. Uh, not competitively I would say. I would go to this place in Lisbon where I could play once a week. This place was more dedicated to all the other trading card games, especially Magic the Gathering. But I would go there and play my Pokemon card games. Sometimes I would watch people playing Magic the Gathering, but I didn't really have much interest. That is until one day, where I went there and I was doing my own thing, trying to get my badges for Pokemon. And they were having some sort of tournament. I don't remember if it was a tournament or some sort of just casual game between people playing Magic the Gathering. And one guy got really, really upset, like, he, I think he lost the game. And people here in the South tend to be quite emotional sometimes, but this was something unlike, I mean, I was young, so I was scared of that. But this guy, I think he was like a, either young adult or late teen. He just went completely crazy, threw his all his deck up in the air, tore some of his own cards down and just made a whole mess and stormed out of the of the place. And everybody was just staring at him and, or kind of ignoring him and didn't really know what to do. His whole mess stayed there, of course, because nobody wanted to be the one cleaning up that mess until eventually someone had to start putting, taking the stuff and just throwing it in the trash. But I asked the lady that was in charge of us kids uh, keeping an eye on us if I could you know keep the cards since he seemed he didn't want them I was curious you know to Look at the cards and see what all the fuss was really about So I just went into the trash and started picking up the cards I didn't take all the cards that were completely torn apart of course, but I took all the cards that could manage and Here they are uh, Don't be fooled by the by the casing but these are all the cards that I have uh, got from that place. This must have been some 18 years ago now. There's also some other cards that I got later on from when I started playing back in 2002 and 3. Because I actually held the cards for two years and didn't do anything with them. Only afterwards did I notice that I could do something with them. So let's uh, open up. I have sort of organized them once. But I have no idea what sort of organization that was. So I'm going to have to pick some and just start going through them. See if you can recognize any. Most of these will be in Portuguese, but I'm sure you'll be able to recognize some of the drawings. And you can see the damage of the cards. This is absolutely almost worthless now. But I still kept it because I, I liked the, the drawing, you know. So, I have no idea what set this is, if it's anything valuable at all. But I, the, when I first looked at the art, I was sort of mesmerized in a way. And I decided to keep them, especially this one. Further on, you'll see that I have some English cards, but most of the cards I have are Portuguese. So I don't really know that much about them. Nice, having some trouble focusing. There we go. Yeah, you can see the damage and the age. They have not aged very well. That's a pretty cool air barrier one. And here it's most of them are common or uncommon, I think. I don't know what I've done with all my rare magic cards. I suspect I might have sold them when I really lost interest in them. So I don't think we'll find any rare cards here.
go pirate here. But yeah, once I started looking into these, it's like you get this depth of the universe and all the different characters and stories and like what are they doing, what are they fighting for, who are they fighting with and against and why are they doing that. Some repeats here. Here's some uh, English one, Wall of Tears. This is a 98 card, I think. So now we start getting to some English ones sometimes. Look at this art, it's really nice. This is almost like a like a painting that you would see somewhere. <laughs> this is already now 2001. Yep, yeah. so I have quite a few of these. I'm not sure if I'll have time to go through all of these, but it will be nice to, I guess, just see sort of stuff that I have. I'm sure many of you will recognize. This is kind of like the time when I started playing with this symbol here. I don't know the name of the set, but I have more cards of these. So I remember many of these cards very well. I would make decks with them. It's like Jesus Christ almost. Yeah, then there's I think I've organized these according to what I found online about sets and stuff, but I don't remember who that was, unfortunately. So I don't know the names. I should probably organize this better at some point. It's wrong with the focus today. There we go. But the art is really what does it for me. Look at that. These are almost begging to have full art stuff at some point with this kind of style or even the earlier one. And then some more modern stuff. Don't know the name of this one, but I do remember playing a lot with it. So I'll skip through these a bit faster. But you can see these are all very worn out because I actually played them in the floor uh, outside in the playground. And this floor had a bunch of little grain things on it. So these would really like damage the, the surface of the cards. I'm going to skip legions because I've already done a whole box opening about it. And I, I have all the cards now. So I'm going to skip legions here and keep going with these. So. Start noticing a 
bit of CGI showing up every once in a while. Still pretty cool looking. And then we really get into more modern stuff. This was really around the time that, or the peak right before I start, also started losing interest yet again. But this is, I remember the mirrors quite distinctly. And I'm afraid I might only have, um, Oh no, there's an English one. I was gonna say I might only have some Portuguese ones, but I guess not. Just uh, here, there we go. Yeah, in this in this more modern ones, now looking back, the art is not as appealing to me as some of the old ones, but I don't know why would that be? Because it's sort of similar in a way. But I do tend to prefer legions and older stuff than these ones. Just might be because I was already starting to lose some interest on it. Well, there's some glued one here. There we go. Yeah, I remember mirror decks. They were kind of a pain in the ass. All right. Then we have these ones here. Again, I sorry, but I don't really know the name of the sets. Some more mirrors though, so it's kind of like a continuation of the previous one. There's a lot of doubles in here. If you played Magic around this time, this was 2004, then you'll recognize many of these. And I'm sure there's still plenty of people out there with all these cards. I mean, it's not that I dislike the art itself, but some of them I enjoy. There's stuff that's more nostalgic than the others, but I can enjoy it on an abstract or dissociation, dissociative level, like this, the detail in the oceans, or the ray of light, or whatever that is, hitting them. This guy mesmerized. I remember this one pretty distinctly, this slith artifact, and this one as well. This one too was pretty cool. The artwork reminded me a bit of the Matrix for some reason with those uh, Sentinels. All right, just a few more left. No idea. I think this is also a continuation of, of the mirror stuff and the artifact stuff. Interesting ray. It's kind of hard to move all of these big piles between two hands without making a mess. I 
And didn't we see this one before? Hmm. I remember this one as well. Let's see, here we go, a little mirror. I had a friend that had a really powerful mirror deck, so I would kind of lose all the time. Never really found a way to go after him. This little <laughs> elephant. I guess I have enough cards to make my own deck if I want it in this era. Look at this ferocious charge. Looks quite uh, brutal. Yep, plenty of cards here. Oh, look at that one. Pretty cool art. Either. Arachnoid. I remember these were pretty. Maybe not strong is the wrong word, but I remember quite distinctly that when they would show up. Yeah. I remember this deck with. Artifacts that was pretty powerful. I'm not sure if it was my friends or Someone else, but I remember that you could have when you would make it They would each help each other out in such a way that you were basically the opponent would be screwed All right And the last ones before I'm not going to show you the energies of course because that's just boring. I Don't know what these are or oh, these are energies. Okay. Well, never mind. I was hoping it was... Yeah, there's some other stuff here. What is this? Ah, these are hollow. A little thing here as well. Another hollow. And another hollow. Okay, well, that was it. That was my story of how I got in magic. And these are all the cards that I still have left. Um, don't think I will be doing anything with the cards I will probably be keeping them just for memory one day again I will be looking at these up close admiring the art um, until then not really looking forward to sell these I don't think I would get probably not even more than 20 bucks out of all of this if I and the trouble to go through all of that would be too much Uh, yeah, here we go. So I hope you enjoyed the video. It wasn't too boring. I personally always find it interesting to go look at people going back their memory lane and finding out all their old stuff that they didn't know they have. Because there's always this element of surprise like you don't know what you're going to find. Could be good, could be bad find a bunch of stuff you thought you lost and then it's already there but if I had one uh, message to everyone out there who might be watching would be don't don't destroy your cards come on if you don't like them just give them for free for someone else I mean this really doesn't in, in my case it helped because it got me curious but I don't think it's really a good way to vent your emotions. I think the best way you could vent your emotions... Oh shit, I'm really destroying this. Your emotions would really be better vented if you just hit the gym or something. Did something more sportsy. So, hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.